Hello, everyone. Today, I am going to be talking about the residency match, and I will specifically be discussing the most and the least competitive specialties, as well as your chances of matching. Do you really need a very high board score, USMLE score of 246, to match into the most competitive specialties? Stay tuned. My name is Dr. Jessica Friedman. I am the founder and chair of MedEdit's Medical Admissions. I am a former residency admissions officer and physician from the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. And I am also the author of several top-selling books about the medical admissions processes that you can find on Amazon. So let me first outline what I will discuss today. First, I will be re reviewing a lot of data from the NRMP or the National Residency Matching Program that has a ton of very useful information that you can use to determine your chances of matching into your specialty. I will also be discussing the trends in residency matching and how that impacts you. And I will be talking about the outcomes based on applicant type. So that's MD, DO, and IMG. And I will also be talking about what you can do to increase your chances of matching in your desired specialty, whether or not you have the metrics that align with um, with applicants who do match into your desired specialty. I first want to review some NRMP 2021 data nuggets, which all applicants should consider before entering the NRMP residency match. In 2021, there were more than 42,000 applicants, and they were competing for over 35,000 first-year positions and a bit over 2,900 second-year positions. Now it's important to understand that of those positions, 95% were filled. This means that the vast majority of residency positions were taken basically by applicants. Now the match rate to PGY1 positions was 78.5%, and that is down nearly two percentage points um, versus 2020. And that's important to understand because it essentially shows that the competition to match is increasing. And that's because the number of residency applicants is rising while the number of residency positions is staying the same. The average step one score for matches in 2021 was 234 for step one and 247 for step two CK. And you will see that those numbers are much higher for the more competitive specialties. Now let's look at the summary data for US MD and DO senior applicants. Those are graduates from allopathic and osteopathic medical schools, which is how the NRMP breaks up this data. U.S. MD seniors comprise nearly 20,000 of applicants, and the match rate of U.S. MD seniors to PGY1 spots was nearly 93%. Just over 72% of U.S. MD seniors matched to one of their top three choices, which is really terrific. U.S. DO seniors comprised uh, just over 7,000 of all applicants, and the match rate of U.S. DO seniors to, to PGY1 spots was 89%, so a bit lower than MD seniors. And 72% of DO seniors matched to one of their top three choices. So you can see that that number is very similar to the MD data. What is different, and we will go over this in a little bit, is the specialty choice for MD versus DO seniors. Now let's review the data for U.S. and non-U.S. citizen international medical graduates. U.S. IMGs are usually students who attend medical school in the Caribbean or Israel or Australia, and non-U.S. citizen international medical graduates are citizens of other countries who want to train in the United States. As you can see, things become more competitive for the international medical graduates. 5,300 U.S. IMGs submitted 
rank list and only 60% of those applicants matched versus non-U.S. citizen IMGs, nearly 8,000 applicants and only 55% of those applicants matched. So the environment is certainly much more competitive, whether a U.S. citizen IMG or a non-U.S. citizen IMG. Next, let's review how you can determine the most competitive specialties and what data points you should look at. The percentage of U.S. seniors that filled within the specialty. The higher the percentage, the more competitive the specialty. Next, you can look at the number of abstracts, publications, and presentations. The higher the number, the more competitive the specialty. Next, you want to consider the percentage of AOA matches, which is the Medical Honor Society. The higher the percentage, the more competitive the specialty. Then you want to look at the percentage of U.S. seniors graduating from one of the top 40 U.S. medical schools with the highest NIH funding. The higher this number, the more competitive the specialty. And almost the most obvious is the higher the U.S. MLE scores are, the more competitive the specialty. The following data is going to show you the most and the least competitive specialties based on U.S. senior fill rate, and you can pause this slide to review the data. But essentially, the higher the U.S. senior fill rate, the more competitive the specialty. So the specialties on the left are the most competitive specialties to match into, and that includes orthopedics and otolaryngology. And the specialties on the right are the least competitive specialties to match into, and those include family medicine, internal medicine, and pediatrics. However, it's important to note that even less competitive specialties have extremely competitive programs within each distinctive specialty. So for example, if you want to go to MGH for internal medicine, that's going to be an extremely difficult specialty to match into, even though internal medicine overall is one of the less competitive specialties. Let's review some of the winners for the other criteria that I mentioned. The highest number of abstracts goes to neurosurgery, which was 23.4. The average for U.S. seniors, however, was 6.9. Dermatology had the highest percentage of AOA. Dermatology also had the highest number of NIH funding medical school applicants. And derm and otolaryngologies were the winners for the highest step one and step two scores. You might be curious about the top specialty matches for U.S. and D.O. seniors, and it really does not differ much from one group to the next. And that is because the largest number of spots are in specialties such as internal medicine and family medicine. Keep in mind that many people who go into internal medicine do subspecialize. Here are the top specialty matches for U.S. and non-U.S. citizen IMGs, which does not differ much from DO and MD seniors. Now let's review the data for the highest percentage of unmatched MD and DO seniors who ranked only one specialty. And you can see that the highest percentages are in the most competitive specialties. Why is that? It's because either applicants underestimated their competitiveness for these specialties, or they didn't position themselves well to be competitive for these specialties. And we'll discuss that in the next slide. How can you improve your chances of matching into a competitive specialty? The first thing you can do is research. As you can see, the most competitive specialties have applicants with the highest numbers of publications, presentations, and abstracts. Many applicants for very competitive specialties even take a full gap year in order to get more research in the specialty. You can also do away rotations. Away rotations allow you the opportunity to showcase your talents at other institutions where you might be interested in matching. And also you can get letters of recommendation from those specialties. And all of this is what helps to develop relationship building within the specialty itself. So the more that you establish your reputation within a department or within a specialty, the more likely you are to match within in that specialty. In summary, don't ignore the data. Be realistic about your chances. Don't overestimate your competitiveness. Yet, at the same time, you want to put forth the best application possible and to do all the right things as you think about the specialty you want to match into. If you have a strategic plan and you put forth the best application possible, you will potentially have 
a chance at matching into the specialty of your choice, even if it is very competitive. Every year at MedEdits, we work with students who were told by others that they had no chance of matching, and they do match successfully. So please visit us at www.mededits.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel below, and you will also be notified of live office hours that I can that I have on YouTube where you can ask questions live, um, and you will also be notified of any other videos that we post. 